Welcome on board. You are now on board a mask vessel. This is a workplace where we do things in a certain way, the safe way. We follow special rules as long as we're on board this vessel for the safety of ourselves and our colleagues. We don't want any personal accidents to happen during our work and duties. We have a safety culture and we're proud of it. We know what we must do in case of an emergency, in case we need to use a lifeboat, put out a fire, or if a colleague falls overboard. In short, we think safety into everything we do. We're well prepared and we think ahead. Therefore, we know that this ship is a safe place to work and to live on. So, pay attention to this film. We've made it because we want to give you a safe start. After the film, you will have a guided tour around the ship. Then we would welcome any question you need an answer for. Now we would like to tell you about our attitude towards safety and our safety culture on board. Listen carefully to our 10 golden rules. 1. I am responsible for my own personal safety. 2. I am, by what I say and do, an active part of moving safety forward. 3. I will have an open mind in order to support the company objective to create an accident-free workplace. 4. I will work so that everybody on board acts in accordance with the AP Moller Mask safety culture. 5. I will intervene if I see any unsafe situation, no matter who is working unsafely. 6. I will protect myself and my colleagues against potential danger through proper job planning and risk evaluation. 7. I will give or ask for instructions before I initiate or start any unfamiliar tasks in order to fully understand the safe execution of the job. 8. I will use personal protective equipment and any other relevant safety equipment needed to do the job safely. 9. I will use the right tools for the job and use them correctly. Ten. I will keep my workplace clean, tidy and free of obstructions. We truly believe that all operations on board this vessel can be carried out in a safe way and without accidents. We consider safety as a process we all must take part in because it makes our daily work safer and more effective. Together, we work hard to ensure a safe working environment. We help and watch out for each other. And if we observe a situation we consider unsafe, we immediately intervene and take actions to correct it. Here are some good tools you must use when you carry out your work. Take a look in your safety handbook, all the leaflets, and watch the film Slips, Trips and Falls to get further advice about our safety. Um, I feel safe on board the Kate Musk because I think we have a very good safety culture and everybody is very aware of the safety on board. I feel safe on board Roman Mask because I spent quite a lot of time to familiarize with the ship. Uh, and I got a proper handover and I came here the first time for about two weeks with the old chief in there signing off. I feel safe on board the Clementine Mersk or any Mersk ship because they are well maintained and I know there is a good organization on board. Uh, when I came on board for the first time I became familiar with the ship, of course uh, mainly doing my normal handover and then of course I read all the pamphlets and um, guidelines which is on board and then I asked questions to the people who were already on board. Take five is a good routine you must practice. Before you start any job, consider these five steps. Instruction. People. Equipment. Workplace. Risks. 
The five steps are described in your safety handbook. Familiarize yourself with the principles of your five-step routine. Most work activities will be covered by a relevant risk assessment, known as a safe job analysis. If an existing safe job analysis does not cover the proposed work, a new one must be made before the work is allowed to start. If you and your work team have any doubts or your work situation changes, you must instantly stop your work. Then report it to the person in charge or to the duty officer. If you believe a safe job analysis is required for a particular job and you don't see it, ask for it. An SJA must be available for critical jobs. For other routine jobs, it's up to the vessel to carry out and create an SJA. For certain dangerous jobs, a work permit must be issued and authorised. When working under a permit, always make sure you follow the permit to work procedures and requirements at all times. If at any time you observe or suspect that a hazardous situation is present, inform the senior management. Once again, we stress that everyone on this ship has the authority to stop any job they consider unsafe. That also goes for behavior that may lead to a hazardous situation. If you see it, you own it. is a condition or situation that could be a threat to people, environment or property. It could, for instance, be an unsafe work situation or a colleague's unsafe behaviour. If you observe a near miss, this must be reported. Reporting a near miss is important as we can take steps to prevent a reoccurrence. Furthermore, it trains our ability to see risks at our workplace. When you recognise the risks, taken the first step towards doing something about them. Our safety culture is dependent on your observation and reporting of near misses. This is a way to continuously improve our safety. I've been involved in a couple of the near misses. One was for, on a ship like this, where we took a backload from a platform, and while they were Allowing the load to the ship, one the chain fell off the container. If I observe a colleague do something on safety, I will go over to him and discuss with him, tell him that he should not do this and maybe tell him to do it another way for, for his own safety. I would instruct him to do the work in a safe way and uh, maybe not first time I would uh, report him, but if he uh, continue to do the thing unsafe, I would report him. I have no problem reporting if a colleague uh, do unsafe acts. Lifting things is something we all carry out every day at the workplace. Knowing how to lift correctly is also a matter of good health. It really is quite simple. When you lift, always use your arm and leg muscles instead of your back muscles. If the load is heavy, divide the load into smaller loads if possible. Ask for help or use mechanical aids. Take a look in your safety handbook and look in the leaflet Manual Handling to get further advice regarding lifting. Chemicals and hazardous substances must be stored and used correctly. Always read and follow the requirements and precautions specified on the containers and in the material safety data sheets.
Long-term influence can damage your health severely. Remember that personal protective clothing and equipment is provided for your protection. Use eye wash stations and safety showers to wash off any chemical splashes.